Hello everyone, welcome back to another video Hi. from New York City. Hi. Today is July 16, 2021 and temperature is currently 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty hot and pretty warm outside but I'm here at New York Aquarium. Today we will explore this beautiful place and see what uh, basically we can expect to see inside of New York Aquarium. So I just reserved my ticket through online and it cost me around $29.95 for an adult single ticket. And if you bring your car and you need to park your car here, then it will cost you $18 more for parking. So this is a price range for that. It's a beautiful day. Look at the beautiful sky. So let's go inside and start exploring New York Aquarium. So that's the entrance basically. And one more important information about New York Aquarium. Uh, in Wednesday after 3 it's free but you had to reserve the ticket on Monday after 3 from online. You have to reserve the ticket. So that's the important information also. It's a pretty cool place if you are wildlife lover. I see lots of children here because this is a perfect place for them. Children are getting so excited sometimes. Yep. Okay, thank you. Excuse me? Sorry. Okay, here we are. Hi. This is my ticket. Good to go? Yeah, one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. You can come up with any other name like that. It's beautiful. Look at that, how cute it is. So cute, oh my god. Hello, say hello to the people. Wow, look at that, how many fish are here. It seems like a, a TV screen, but it doesn't. This is real aquarium. And from the internet, I knew that here in this aquarium, this is one of the oldest continually operating aquarium in the United States. So it's pretty fancy and it holds more than 500,000 gallons of water and 18 different species of shark and hundreds of marine species. So this place is quite unique for the wildlife especially 
uh, in New York City, it's definitely a great place to visit. So don't miss this place. This is at Coney Island. So we will continue our exploration. Wow, this is even much more pretty. So colorful. So colorful, so pretty. Hi. What is that little fish? I'm not so sure. This is so pretty. <laughs> Here some more. Hey, say hello. Unbelievable, so colorful. <laughs> it seems like some sort of big TV screen, but it's a Korean. Look at this yellow one. Are you looking at he got one of the no, best place, picture. like oh, without absolutely. any fish. I did not expect to Yeah, yeah. No, the Maybe the are bird meals. I don't know. This is awesome. Okay. What's that? This is the name of the fish, Bedotia. I think we can zoom and we can see more clearly. These are the fish, basically. And here is one more magnifying glass, so you can see clearly. It's pretty. Africa's Great Lake. So these are the fish you will find in that particular lake. So fascinating. It's unbelievable to see all these different varieties and different types of fish. I never seen so many types of fish in my life. So these are from other lakes in Africa. Oh my goodness. Saving Lake Victoria's fish. These fish are seems pretty big compared to the other 
exhibition we see so far, they are pretty big. Some of them are really, really big. Awesome. There are some tiny fishes right here. Very, very tiny. With some real plant inside, but they're very, very tiny. I like it, I like the setup right here. Floated forest. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at the size of this fish. My goodness. It's giant. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This fish right here is pretty cool though. But compared to this fish and that fish, you can understand how big it is. Look at that. I like this one too. They are very, very tiny. It's even hard to capture in camera how, that how tiny it is. Try my best to zoom and show, but they had a pretty nice color shade, red and blue. Awesome. <laughs> now it's time to go for a different exhibition. That way is exit basically and a gift shop. But we are not exit yet. And Equa Theatre will be at 3. So what's time right now? It, 10 minutes. So we'll go inside and see the show and then we'll explore other part. So let's go inside the show. Okay. Hello. The show will be start in 10 minutes. We are perfect in time. This is one of the most attractive attraction. So I can't miss that. Next show at 5. It's too late for me. People are keep coming in. Right here? That's your section. So section B makes the noise. Section B for Barracuda. Section C makes some noise. Yeah, section C is in cat. 
catfish. Oh, catfish. I got to get Very nice. So just keep an ear out for your section. You're going to be exiting through exit number one right over here. Exit number two, the way you came in today. Exit number three, way over there. Or exit number four. Uh, so we should get the fun started, huh? Yeah, yeah, but first of all, I just want to know from you, don't you just love Coney Island this time of year? Oh, yeah. Yes, right? Because we have the amusement parks. We got uh, the aquarium. The aquarium. That's like the best thing. We also have the beach and the boardwalk. Oh yeah. Speaking of the beach and the boardwalk, I was I was out there earlier and it was jam packed with people. Yay for returning back to normal, huh? Yeah. yeah. And you know, it was like Times Square out there just by the water. Oh yeah. Isn't it amazing how the boardwalk can have so much hustle and bustle, but it's right next to that calm, serene ocean? There's nothing calm or serene about the ocean. The boardwalk has nothing on the hustle and bustle under those waters. Wait, what do you mean? I mean, oh, you must mean all the people swimming in those big boats going by? <laughs> yeah, that's a no, lot. No, not quite. There's a whole underwater world that we can't see. The five oceans cover 71% of the Earth's surface, and only 20% of the oceans have been mapped and explored. No! Well, there's so much about the ocean that we don't know yet. Yeah, it's really busy. So busy. Wait, but how do you know it's so busy? Well, because there's 230,000 known species in the ocean. And that's just from the parts that have been explored. Wow! You can say that again. Wow! That was funny. The ocean has a lot to teach us. We just have to be open to learning from it. Oh, learn? I don't know about learning, but I want to like swim and play. That sounds fun. Well, guess what, Nikki? You can swim, learn, and play. In fact, the best way to learn is when you're having fun too. I, I bet the audience could teach us some stuff about the ocean. Now, what are your favorite ocean animals? What do you think? Orca. Orca. Orca yeah. whale. Today is oh, Friday. That's why it seems fan. pretty crowded. Fan. It's pretty oh, crowded. Okay. I um, I don't know if you all could guess this, but I really love sea lions. China, you know, and I know a whole lot about them. They yes. have these amazing uh, flippers we, and fish. We know you know about the sea lions. You do the sea lions show. Animal. But there is so much more to learn about the ocean. I see the let's seal see right there. If, uh, it's right somewhere there. Guess some swimming. Of my favorite animals. Oh. Uh, right there. Let's see. This is black and white. It's a bird. It's, it eats fish. Waddles we around. It's a penguin. That's right. And did you know there are 17 different species of penguin? Wow. And we only have the black penguins are awesome! Yeah, yeah. Oh, how about this one? Um, this is a reptile. It glides around in the ocean, has a big shell. And that's a, a it's on it today. All right, well done. Did you know that turtles can, they have the same lifespan as humans? Oh, this is so cool! Yeah. Brandon, I want to learn more! Well, I'm glad I inspired you. Take it away! What can I spy in the ocean? What can I see swimming by? What don't I know about the world down below the water? My, oh my! I want to swim, swim with the sharks, porpoise with the penguins, play with the dolphins all day. I want to go with the fish, fly with the turtles, fly through the sky to see birds, dive in the ocean and play. More than water in the ocean. There's plants and animals and beauty everywhere. I didn't know till I went down below the water. My oh my! Oh wow! Look at that! It brings I some cool stuff. Play with the sharks, play with the penguins, play with the dolphins all day. I wanna play with the fish, fly with sea turtles, fly through the sky with sea birds, down in the ocean and play. Fly with Like a sea lion. We can swim, 
learn and, and play. play. <laughs> and in just a moment, we'll do all those. But for now, let's sing it again. Hit it. I want to play with the sharks. Work with the fish, play with the dolphins all day. I want to school with the fish, fly with the turtles, fly through the sky, we see birds, dive in the ocean and play. My own mind, I want to play. I want to play with the fish, play with the turtles, fly through the sky, we see birds, dive in the ocean and play. Just search for Swim, Learn, and Play with Prima on YouTube. Thank you, everybody. Our show will begin in just a few minutes. This is my first experience in this Equa Theatre, basically, so I'm pretty looking forward and excited for that. Celebration. At this time, if I could have your attention for these final pre-show announcements. As you are entering the Aqua Theater, know you may now sit in either the blue or silver seats. That's right, we're filling up our sections again. So sit in either the blue or silver seats as long as we leave those aisleways clear as safety exits. Please keep your hands, feet, and all objects away from the pool railing. Anything that falls into the pool can become extremely harmful to the animals. Did you bring a child with you today? If so, please use this moment to take a look at them. If said child is holding onto a toy, there is a 50% chance that toy will end up in this pool. Please make arrangements to ensure that this will not happen. If you are holding an umbrella, you will need to take it down before the show can begin. This is for the safety of all of our guests, as well as the comfort of the animals. If an animal and their trainer pass you by, please do not reach out to touch them. It might be tempting, but keep in mind that the animals have teeth. And so do the trainers. Finally, after the show is finished, we will be exiting the aquavator by seating section. Please take a quick look now at the yellow signs in front of you. That is your section letter. We will guide you out at the end of the show by the seating section so we can all exit quickly and safely. Thank you everyone for your attention. Our show is about to begin. Oh wow, look at the crowd right now. It's getting more and more.
don't know me yet, I'm Brandon, but please let me introduce the stars of our show. We have our trainer, Sarah, along with our 12-year-old 600-pound bruiser. Now, Bruiser here was born at the Bronx Zoo, which makes him a native New Yorker. Now, Bruiser's a California sea lion, and sea lions are found all along our country's west coast, from as far north as Canada to as far south as Mexico. Now, sea lions are very social animals. And they like to gather together in large groups called rookeries. And believe me, rookeries can be very noisy places. That's so cool. Now males vocalize to claim and defend their territory, while females vocalize to identify their pups on a crowded beach. Sea lions also identify each other through means of a breath exchange, which looks something like a sea lion kiss. Oh. Thank you, Bruiser. Now, sea lions belong to a large group of mammals called pinnipeds, and that, that includes seals, like our harbor seal pickles swimming in the water right here. Sea lions, like Bruiser, and walruses, but we all know what a walrus looks like, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. But seals and sea lions are a little trickier to tell the difference between. Don't worry, I'm going to help you out. First thing you're going to do is look at the side of the animal's head. And if you see ear flaps, you're looking at a sea lion because seals don't have those. Seals' ears are more internal. Seals, like pickles, also have very short front flippers they use for steering, while sea lions have long and flexible front flippers. They use to pull themselves through the water, just like us when we go swimming. Now, seals use their rear flippers to propel themselves in a scully motion under the water, but sea lions have incredible rear flippers too. Yeah, check out those babies. They're super floppy. They're used for steering and they can rotate underneath their bodies, making sea lions extremely mobile on land. That's going to do it for Bruiser's section of the show right now, so let's show him some love on his way out. All the love, I love it. Now, don't worry, we have more sea lions on the way, but at this point, you may be asking yourself a question. And I'm here to tell you, yes, our jobs are as awesome as they seem. <laughs> it's such an honor to come in day in, day out, and work with these wonderful animals. And we're thrilled to be able to share that connection with all of you. Whether it's here at the Aqua Theater, at Glover's Reef, Sea Cliffs, Ocean Wonder Sharks, or our new spineless exhibit, we work hard to bring our guests closer to the wonders in our own backyard. I firmly believe that if someone comes to the aquarium or the zoos, and they see an awesome animal like Bruiser, they'll be inspired to protect wildlife. At WCS, we stand as a window to nature. We stand for wildlife, and we invite all of you to stand with us. And joining us right over here, we have our trainer, Stephanie, along with our six-year-old rescue, Townsend. Fish and fun are easy to come by here at the aquarium, but in the wild, oh, it's a different story. Sea lions have to catch their own fish in the ocean, and all the while, there's another animal just waiting to catch them. Lurking under the water, stalking their prey. That's right, it's the primary predator of all sea lions. You know who it is, the great white Dark. Dark. Oh, you got me. Townsend, that was a great impression. You're absolutely right. They got to worry about those sharks out there, those great whites and those killer whales. But there is an even bigger threat to sea lions. It's not even a predator. It's plastic. Yeah. Every day, us humans, we use a lot of it. And it can end up in the ocean, where it traps and kills billions of marine mammals, fish, sea turtles, birds. I'm talking a lot of plastic. 
Plastic. It can, what is? What is in the water right there? Oh my goodness! That is a plastic bottle. Um, and it's in the pool. Right here. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's never good. We we don't want that to happen. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness, and I see another one over here. There's plastic everywhere. What, what is going on? Um, uh, well, I'm gonna, I could get this one at least, and I think I'm just going to put it in the trash. <laughs> what, 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 what's, what's the deal? Oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, I minored in sea lion in college. You don't put plastic in the trash. You put it in the recycling. What was I thinking? Thank you, buddy. Yeah. It's a good one. Now, we'll get the other one later. It's fine. But I, I do want to talk about uh, plastic real quick. Um, wait, wait a second. This is bothering me. I, I checked the water before the show. It was completely spotless. Now, how could that plastic bottle have ended up in the water or, or back there unless... Uh, Unless someone put it in there, and I think maybe it was you, Stephanie. Well, if it wasn't you, then it was... Townsend? You put the plastic in the water. Okay, we found the culprit. I'm sure you just wanted to make a message about the recycling. And you're absolutely right, because plastic is choking our oceans. Did you realize? that humans use up to 50 billion plastic bottles a year, and only one in five of those will get recycled. Yeah, one in five. One in five. Yeah. I know, Townsend, it's shocking. He's speechless, yeah. It's, it's okay, buddy, think of it this way. Even better than recycling is if everyone in this aqua theater had a reusable bottle instead of using single-use plastics every day, you would save countless animals just like Townsend. It's just one small change you can make and have a huge impact. And that, my friends, is something to celebrate! Yeah!
Let's hear it for Bruiser! Now, New York is a big city, but it's also a coastal community. A series of islands surrounded by a vast ocean wilderness. And it's the choices we make that help impact this underwater world. I want to thank you all for visiting with us here today. When you come to the New York Aquarium, you're supporting the worldwide efforts of the Wildlife Conservation Society. Now let's keep that up for the stars of our show today. We had our trainers Stephanie and Sarah, along with Bruiser and Townsend. Now I'm going to ask everyone to remain seated. We're going to bring Nikki out here for our exit strategy. You guys have been the best. Enjoy the rest of your day at the New York Aquarium. It was a pretty nice show. Pretty nice and decent okay, show. Appreciate it. Thank you for staying seated. We are going to exit starting with section G. Section G, you can exit through exit one. And section C, thank you for joining us today. Section C, you can exit through exit two. Section D is a dogfish. You can stand up and exit through exit three. Time to exit. All right, section F. Hello there. Section F, you can exit through exit four. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming today. If you liked all this, It was a pretty decent show uh, in an aqua theater and this is my first experience here. So far I enjoyed, now we'll explore other exhibition here. I hope we can see some more seal right here. Let's see. Do we have any luck to see any seal here today? I think it's on that side. Oh yeah, here it is. There is another one swimming. California sea otter is right here, two of them having some sunbath. Very nice. Yep. Now we will get inside this particular exhibition called Sharks. This is one of my favorites so far. But before we do that, we'll see some penguin, tiny penguin. They're so cute, so, so, so cute. Here they are, look at that, they are feeding them. So cute, a lot of them are here. Yeah, Ariana, Ariana. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's pretty dark here. Thanks. This is one of the best exhibitions. Seems like you are in a different world. People are really getting excited. So as I. It seems like I'm in underworld or underwater right now. It's so amazing right here. Healthy oceans need shark. Perfect. I love it. Look at the ceiling. It's filled with shark. That's why it's called shark exhibition. Oh wow, it's take years to make a shark. Pretty dark here, but a very good experience. As I mentioned before, this is one of the oldest operating aquarium in the United States, and it opened in 1896, basically in Battery Park. It was in Battery Park, but then in 1957, they moved uh, the aquarium to the Coney Island. Since then, it's here and entertain millions of people each year. But especially in, especially in weekends, this place is uh, a big day. You will see lots of people are having fun, enjoyment here in this place. Especially kids, this place is best for kids. in for a shark eye view. Look at that, this fish are, seems very, very weird. Their shape and size, it's very weird. Scary. 
So now this is the best exhibition. You will see lots of shark and other species that live in this particular aquarium. Here is one of them. Oh, look at that. Here are three more sharks resting. Isn't it fancy, guys? I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you're watching this video so far, please give a like to this video so that it makes me feel motivated to make such a video for you guys and show you different places in New York City. Here is a cafe, real cost cafe. Thank you. Thank you. So we are exiting from the shark exhibition. Now we will go to this particular exhibition, newly open exhibition. Let's see how is it. That's where we're gonna be going. You talking about so you can put it in there? So let's see what they offer right here. They had some jellyfish, I believe. This exhibition is quite nice as well. What's that? Oh. Look at that. There are three of them right here. I'm not so sure what it is, but looks pretty nice.
This is so pretty. It's all real. So pretty. Wow, look at this lobster right here. They are so giant. I never seen such giant lobster before. It seems like a spider, but what that is? It's pretty scary though. Seems like a spider. Oh, this is Japanese spider carp. It is a spider. <laughs> awesome. And you will find them in Pacific Ocean in Japan. This is a pretty nice, oh, that's all right, uh, and short exhibition. And now we are here inside a gift shop. They have pretty cool gifts right here. It's pretty nice, t-shirt. I think I pretty much show you guys everything here you can expect to see in New York Aquarium. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. If so, please give a like to this video. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribe to my channel for regular updates and video like that from New York City. And till then, stay safe and spread some positivity to the world. And I'll see you guys in somewhere else. It was a pretty nice and wonderful experience here at New York Aquarium. And I highly, highly recommend to visit this place uh, especially if you had a kid then you should visit this place with your kid because they'll definitely enjoy this place and learn something <laughs>